Sea creatures gather together for a variety of reasons. Be it mating, migrating, eating, or sleeping. You're about to see hordes of hungry hammerheads and herds of heartless hunters. When sea life assembles in big groups, it can be bizarre and it can be creepy, but it's always guaranteed to provide awesome footage. This is Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up, what would you do if you spotted hundreds of hammerheads above you? And what would happen if you fell into this swarm of beach jellyfish? Lots of blue bottles. First though, Notre Dame Bay, Canada, where you're witnessing gannets at their dive bombing best. These seabirds live in large colonies and are renowned for their hunting technique. About 10 meters above the water, they tuck in their wings, giving them maximum velocity as they dive into the sea in search of fish and squid. Wow. It's a technique well documented here, close up and in slow motion in the North Sea. When they hit the surface, gannets are often traveling at 60 miles per hour. Seabirds often feed on bait fish like this, and they gather in large numbers for safety. It can be an impressive sight. Diver Alex Kidd swam in the middle of this 100 meter wide bait ball on Australia's Ningaloo Reef. It soon went dark. That's how thick this wall of fish is. But there's a good reason for the big crowd. That reason was detailed in a series of photographs later taken by Alex. Surrounded by 200 amberjacks now off the coast of Azores is diver Stefano Olivi. This underwater volcanic mountain ridge supports wildlife in a way only volcanic activity can, but it's actually unusual to see so many of these fish gather near a human. They tend to be scared of things like oxygen bubbles, but for whatever reason, they took a liking to Stefano, providing him with the perfect selfie opportunity. Fish don't just gather in big crowds for self-defense. When they migrate to warmer, cooler, deeper, or more shallow waters, it can be a sight to behold. These lunar fusiliers were caught on camera off Kuda Harar in the Maldives. The diver behind the camera described the moment as mesmerizing. As discussed, sharks are often the reason for a big fish get together. You can see that in practice here. Salmon hoping strength in numbers will be enough to see off the nurse sharks. But what happens when sharks have numbers on their side? Well, sometimes they relax. This incredible footage was captured off Baja in Mexico. It shows 30 to 40 white-tipped sharks in a reef cave. For a diver, it's a really unusual thing to see. Now this is what a real-life Sharknado looks like, kind of. These divers were surrounded by up to 70 reef sharks in the Bahamas. Fearless photographer Troy Olowski kept the camera rolling while the curious creatures came in to investigate Troy's team. Perhaps more ominous is this. Drifting in and out of focus, dozens of hammerhead and silky sharks off the coast of Columbia. Unlike most sharks, hammerheads usually swim in schools during the day. 
and it's a scary thing to see. Diver Rick Morgan filmed this on a head-mounted GoPro. Diving off the coast of New South Wales, Australia, Rick and the team had to wait quietly below as more than 100 sharks passed overhead. A lone hammerhead is actually more dangerous. At night, the schools disband and the sharks hunt solo. It's kind of rare seeing a hammerhead school like this, but one of the best places on Earth to encounter one is off the Galapagos Islands. It's a bucket list thing for some scuba divers, as hammerheads tend to be quite shy, so experiencing something like this is a dream come true for sea life lovers. For those that fear sharks, it's probably as far from a dream come true as you can get. Still to come on Deep Blue Discovery, sea lions gathered on a pier in Oregon. And we'll look at some of the biggest gatherings on Earth of jellyfish. But first, when it comes to big parties, very few creatures know how to get together like these mobula rays. Known as a fever, it's not unusual to find hundreds of them swimming together. Sometimes called devil rays, mobulas are famous for the way they breach. A phenomenon best witnessed from the air. Mobula rays like these off Baja California are part of the largest ray migration on Earth. Every year, thousands head to warm water off Mexico. But did you know crabs also migrate? This was filmed off San Diego, but it's the same the world over, at the bottom of the ocean and on land. Millions of ruby red crabs take to the streets on Christmas Island every year in the biggest annual land crab migration in the world. As we saw in last week's video, some sea creatures spend their whole lives living in large colonies. Often that means just living at sea or on rocky beaches together. But sometimes sea lions occupy docks and piers en masse, like this one in Oregon. It's not actually 100% known why they do this, but there are a number of theories. It could be just for comfort or warmth, or it could offer them guaranteed safety from predators. Sharks can't climb onto wood after all. Either way, it's become a problem for some people in recent years, and a whole industry has built up around keeping sea lions off docks. In the water, it's uncommon to be swarmed by a large number of sea lions, as they usually hunt alone or in very small groups. That's why Dutch photographer Joost van Uffelen considers himself so lucky to have experienced this off Hornby Island in Canada. Now off the coast of Alaska, diver Alex Benedict has unwittingly become a wedding photographer. This massive gathering of jellyfish is actually a mating ritual. Most of the creatures here are males. The lady in purple is looking for a prospective partner. Finally, these jellyfish are similar in behaviour and appearance to the infamous Portuguese man of war. Sadly, they're beached here, but what would happen if you jumped into this mass? Fortunately, blue bottle jellyfish are nowhere near as venomous as their Portuguese man of war cousins. So even though you would get stung, a lot, and it would hurt, you would probably survive. Blue bottles are responsible for a lot of stings off Australia so coming into contact with them is something you'd probably want to avoid. That's all for this week. Thanks for watching Deep Blue Discovery. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please subscribe and please share the channel as far and wide as possible.